I told him it's 2.30 in the morning. Are you, you know, are you people insane? And, um, and I told him I'm calling the cops. And I shut the door. Several North Fargo neighbors are startled by an early morning knock on their front doors. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. It happened in the 700 block of First Street North. We've been contacted by several people in the Oak Grove and Horace Mann neighborhood. They describe a couple, both in their early 20s, a black woman with short hair and a white man with glasses. Valley News Team's Christine Stanwood learns more about these late night evangelists. I got a knock at the door at 2.30 in the morning. And they did that two more times. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, which that typically means someone knows you, you know, when you knock that way. But that wasn't the case when Kristen Severson opened her door to see two people she didn't know. And she goes, Do, would you like to know the love of Jesus? I told him it's 2.30 in the morning. Are you, you know, are you people insane? The early morning solicitors weren't a total surprise to Severson. She had a heads up from her next door app. Neighbors described seeing a man and woman who were going door to door late at night sharing the gospel claiming to be with the Church of God. He said to her that if he knew that the world was ending tomorrow, it wouldn't stop him from saving a life. We've received reports from near 45th Street in South Fargo, a couple fitting the same description, entering apartment buildings and knocking on doors. How many other houses did they knock on and why did they pick my house at 2.30 in the morning? Whose other house did they knock on and, and someone answered or didn't answer and we don't know about it. It may not be illegal to do that. Deputy Police Chief Joey Anderson advises people to be cautious of late night knockers. There's a chance they could be checking who's home and who isn't. Uh, but certainly is it, it's not good timing um, to, to try to spread that message. I think Jesus would actually let people sleep. <laughs> you know, you know, there's a time and place for everything and it's not in the middle of the night. Mike, Andrea, there is a Church of God in Fargo. The senior pastor told me that he doesn't want our community confusing the two churches. He says their approach to the Word of God is very different. He also reached out to the Church of God International. Remember, that's the church supposedly tied to the couple. It's headquartered in Denver. The senior pastor told me he's not sure that the couple is working for the church. However, he would immediately put a stop to any evangelists going door to door, especially at odd hours of the night. All right, thank you so much, Christine. We did get word of a possible sighting of the couple this afternoon in North Fargo. We have a crew looking for them and are hoping to have an update on Valley News Live.